always interesting because I don't know how you see it, they hate being wrong. Oh yes. Right? Yeah. Especially the CP teacher you have to you, okay, you're wrong. You know, like yeah. was, it, I don't know if it's an ego thing. Probably it is. But what what about Haitians not wanting to be wrong is I mean Nobody want to be wrong. That's embarrassing too. And for your child to tell well, you that you're wrong. Sometimes me, like me, I, I, I don't have no problem being wrong. As long as I can learn and then be like, oh shit, damn, my bad, yo. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my bad. Yeah. Maybe you, I just learned something new. I just learned something new. There's nothing. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong being wrong. Yeah. But damn. And it might be with it may by maybe something that's underlying that they don't know. Maybe something with their self esteem that they don't want to tell you. Because think about it. If you think about, okay, you say, Udo de Gombo Bato. Think about them, how much Bato they probably got. And they didn't have, like, how, how were they raised? They weren't taught how to speak up for themselves. So now it's like, and then they would never tell you that. Right. They would never tell you that. Like, the older Haitians, yeah. they probably, most of them probably should be in therapy. Right. Oh, like, shit. Like, the older generation probably should be in they therapy for the things they, they've gone through. Okay, why well, you see what they're like, one thing I started realizing about Haitian parents is like, prior to you being born, they had no life. Yeah. They, they had no life. They be when my mom come and go na gade, go na gade photo my mom left the teenage girl. So it's a good job, it's a good show. My mom said, "Hey, I didn't date now. We know, you know. But now it's like uh, before them, they had sex. They never had sex. No. You know, they were your dad is the only man that mm -hmm. they ever had sex with. <laughs> We, oui, you know, it's like what, what, what is it about your past or why don't you talk about yourself? And it may be so hurtful. Right. It may be so hurtful that they don't, they're, they're unable to talk about it. That's another thing where some people say, oh, I don't need to go to therapy. But it's good to sit down with somebody who is an expert in the field that you, an, an expert in what you need help with. It's really important to do that because um, there's so, so many things that they're holding back that they don't know they're holding back. It'll be good to actually get help with that.